Hey dudes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey, and in today's video, I kind of have a lot to cover for you guys. So if you're new here and you enjoyed today's video, make sure you're <laughs> Make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button down below it means the world to me when you guys subscribe to my channel And without further ado, let's just get to a bunch of different updates So if you heard a minute ago the little squeal and see the burp cloth that is on My shoulder my husband and I have officially become foster parents So that's why content has been a little lacking. We got our first foster placement on January 3rd we went through the whole process last year of getting licensed to foster and January 3rd is when we received our first placement um, I won't say exact age or anything but she is under six months so we have like a baby and it has been very fun but very crazy um, we brought her home when we still had the 11 Tilly puppies so it has just been really wild and crazy and we're just now getting into a really good routine so that's kind of why things have been a little wild um, we're learning how to parent we're learning how to take care of a child we're learning to take care of a child as well as take care of ourselves and all the dogs so it's just been really crazy and really wild um, but I did want to pop on and real quick before we get into the main purpose of this video and share with you guys where everyone from Tilly's Faith Over Fear Litter went. I know a lot of you guys were interested and I'm sorry I didn't get out a lot of content towards the end of that litter. It just kind of happened like that. But I will go down the list and I'm going to pop up their picture right here so you guys can see the families they went home to. So first was Grace. Grace's new name is Sunny and she joined her family and went to New Jersey. So that's super exciting. And then Peace, um, his new name is Holden, and he joined his family and stayed in North Carolina. And Trust, his new name is Cooper. He joined his new family and went home to Florida. Florida is a really popular, popular state for Rosemary Doodles. I don't know how many Florida pups we have now, but there's quite a few. And then Strength, his new name is Denim, which I love that name. I think it's so cute. And he was... Uh, or went home with his family to Indiana, which that's our first Indiana puppy. We've never had an Indiana puppy before until Denim. And then Faith, now happy, went to good friends of ours in Canada. And she's actually going to be a future mom for their program that they're building right now. I've been helping Lydia and mentoring her. So we're super excited for Faith. And then Promise, his new name is Duke, and he joined his family in Alabama. Um, Hope. Now Charlotte Ruth is actually the puppy that we decided to hold back for our program. As you see her family here, they actually have a Rosemary Doodle from our very first litter. They have Maverick from our very first litter. I think he was Donner or something like that. So that's super awesome. And we're so excited to have Hope slash Charlotte Ruth in our program to continue Tilly's amazing lines. And then we have Blessing. Her new name is Emma and she went home to her family in California. We have Inspire, who's now Bogey August, and he went home to his family and lives in Virginia. Then we have Love. Her new name is Jasmine, and she went home to her family in New Jersey, and they are just absolutely obsessed and in love with her. And then I just have a picture of Believe and not him with his family because his family does not do social media, but Believe is now Oliver, and he stayed in North Carolina as well. So it was just super amazing how all 11 puppies literally found the perfect family for them. And it was just such a blessing to raise that last Tilly litter. I'm so sad that Tilly is done having puppies for our program, but I'm super excited to have held back Hope, now Charlotte Ruth, to continue her lines for our program. And I'm really excited to get Hope's embark back and kind of see what all she carries and how much golden retriever she has in her, because obviously that's a really big thing with Tilly. She has so much golden retriever in her and so does Cooper as well. So I'm just super excited to see what her um, genetic test results say and then obviously once she gets a little bit older around a year we'll do her OFA health testing but that's kind of the big update as far as you know us becoming foster parents and that's kind of why content content has been slacking and then also the faith of her fear litter going home um, I wish I could have vlogged a little bit more for you guys but life just happens and I really appreciate you guys for understanding and now for the main purpose of this video, this is going to be Henley's delivery slash birth vlog. Um, we are in early stages of labor. Her temperature has dropped and she's doing a little bit of shaking right now. So we're going to be vlogging that for you guys. I've got little sis and a bouncer over there because my husband had to run out. He's going to hopefully take over for me and watch her while I deliver puppies. Hopefully today. <laughs> 
hopefully she'll be done having puppies by tonight so we can all get a good night's sleep um last time henley did really good it was really quick but i am going to turn the camera around and kind of share with you guys our setup before puppies start arriving all right guys so here's the setup we got going i have a baby monitor here that's how i watched her last night i have two blink cameras one there and one there but i have to like get on the app on my phone since getting a foster child and having baby monitors this has just worked really well because i can watch it live in the room and i'll have to worry about getting on my phone and i can hear if she starts making any weird noises i have the whelping cart here matt just ran out to get more pee pads we've got our towels gloves um tail wrap um oral cow plus different things here the little collars tail more tail wrap I ran out of printer ink and with having a foster child and being a new parent, I just have not been able to do that. So we made this little thing. I think we're doing Henley's brunch litter. That's to be determined, but I'm pretty sure that's what me and the Guardian fam decided on. I got this here just for anything that I need. And then if you come in here, we've got Henley's bed. I've left that in here for now. I'll probably take it out once she starts having puppies. I've got the warm box for puppies once they're being delivered and I need to like put puppies like in here while she's delivering another puppy have our trash bag i use this to put all of our birthing cloths in so i can wash them and keep them and then obviously in here we have miss henley as you can see she's kind of doing some digging she's got her little um what are these called whelping pads or pads messed up but as you can see she's doing some panting she's doing a little bit of shaking so hopefully delivery will start here soon but this is her box and then, like I said, these are the blink cameras that I have set up that I can get on my phone and check. Um, we especially use those once puppies are here to check on them. But, yeah, so that's the setup. And now we just kind of wait for delivery to start. Okay, guys, it's been a very long day of Henley being in labor. It's 11.05 now. When I filmed earlier, it was like mm, 10 in the morning probably out up there but she's pushing for the first puppy right now so it looks like it's making its way down pretty good so I'm gonna glove up and get ready I also have the baby monitor going over there because my husband sleeps through every cry so I have to make sure that a girl that the baby cries, he hears her because he wasn't hearing her. And I just had to go basically slap him to wake him up. Because she was crying and he had her passy. So, puppies are coming. You can see that she's pushing. That was a push. Like I said, it's been a really long day for poor Henley. She's been laboring all day, shaking all day. I don't see how she's going to have energy for this. But... Hopefully, Lord willing, dear God, let it go smooth. And that's her prayer. So, here we go. Also, these night deliveries always happen to me. Every single time. I was hoping we'd be done by now, but we're just not getting started. Good girl, sissy. The first puppy tends to always, I feel like, take the longest to push out because she's trying to get things going. So, it's probably going to take a couple pushes. Also, if you hear that other noise in the background, that's our heater because it's winter. So, we have a space here and one over there to keep it warm in here. Alright, we got some fluid.
There we go. There we go. Okay, that took a hot second. Look, Mama. Here's your baby. Stimulate the breathe a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I took a hot second to come out. So yeah, I did. have that whole first one because well she has it. Oh. JK I saved it. Hey look, here's your puppy. I want you to lick this thing. Yeah, I want you to lick the puppy. Okay, puppy hasn't made too many noises. I'd like for it to make a little bit more. Very pretty puppy. Make some noises for me. It's moving. Just wish it would make a little bit more noise for me. Yeah, get it, Mama. Yeah. Can you talk to me? There we go. That's what I want to hear. That's what I like to hear. getting puppy right on the boob. One, it helps stimulate mom to labor, but two, it's just good for them puppies. Go ahead and get them on the boob. Get them nursing. It's great for them. Helps that bond. I really like that. So, first puppy's here. That puppy took a while. Took a while. I was starting to get a tiny bit concerned, but Nonetheless, she got it out, and that's great. So, we're going to have a split litter again because it's 11.33, so we're just going to say 128 for this litter. Okay, this one had a placenta. I assume it doesn't have a clip. I haven't seen it yet. I do not know what it is yet. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. It's a girl, which is what I was hoping for. Don't know its weight yet. Okay, Mama. Don't be too obsessive. Let's see. Definitely a cleft palate. It's definitely nursing. Hanley's a very good and attentive mom. And time is around 11. Probably 30. So first puppy is here. It is a female. We've got our collars here. I'm going to give it pink collar just because it's it's a girl. That's the collar we have. It's a very pretty puppy. Mom's doing a really good job at licking it. I'm gonna get a new towel to wrap around it. Since those towels were wet. It's okay, Mama. There you go. Yeah, we're doing a very good job, but let's not get too obsessive. 
Good girl, Henny. Good girl. Good girl, Henny. You're such a good mama. She's such a good mom. So I'm gonna let this puppy nurse bond a little bit. And then when she starts pushing out the next one, I will turn the camera back on. Hopefully she'll get in a little bit better position. She's not in the best position right now, but maybe she'll move. If not, maybe I'll move the camera. So puppy number one's here. Puppy number two is being born right now. I know you can't see literally anything. Don't cut me out. Got lots of fluid. This puppy. Lots of fluid. Okay. These puppies are having lots of fluid. Them, which I do not love. But this one's being a little bit more vocal than the last one, which we like. I'm holding them down because they just have so much fluid on their lungs. You okay? I try to keep puppies covered up right now just because moms like to overstimulate the umbilical cord and that can cause umbilical hernias and they can overlick them and it can also open puppy stomachs up. So you want to be careful with that. I know it probably looks like I'm being aggressive and like preventing her from licking her puppies. It's just because some moms get so obsessive over that and they can really injure their puppies. Okay, so that was probably at like 11. 44, female, yes, no. Okay, I think I'm gonna do purple. Do this one. It is raining so hard outside. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is rain. And she's pushing for number three. I'm glad this is going quick, but wow, it's moving a little faster than I expected. Go ahead and get two more ready. Oh, here it comes. Wow, this one shot out like lightning. Oh my goodness. Wow, beautiful puppy. But holy guacamole. Really good beater, girl. This one is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay. There we go. Cool. Tons of fluid. Try to get the placenta away from mom so she doesn't get sick. Okay, and then. Back to focusing on the puppy. Can Lance over here? It's over here. So it had so much fluid and blood on it. This 
so much food on the left. gorgeous that puppy is. Once again, I'm not loving the amount of fluids these pups are being born with. I mean, just tons of fluid. Okay, I'm going to try and pop our heat pad in here. They are. I'll hopefully help dry them off a little bit. Okay, so we're up to three girls so far. Here it comes. I need this back, okay? They just win the placenta battle. had a boy yet, so number four is a boy. All right, Henny, be careful. So far, four babies. Mom's doing good. Okay, I switched angles for you guys. Pretty sure we're already pushing for number five. Mom's moving fast. Faster than we used to go. Stimulating it. Haley's obsessed with the stuff she's living. You breathe a little bit. This puppy is so dark red. Hey, look at the puppy. Puppy's looking for you. There's another girl. All right, Haley. So, Haley likes to be clean. That's what she's obsessing over. This cleanliness. This one down, highlight 1210. 
Okay, she can be blue collar girl. We can have a blue collar girl. Who says girls can't be blue? I'm gonna change gloves because I haven't changed gloves yet. Get my hands a break. Okay, so puppy number five is here. We have like one to three left. We'll see. Just at least got one to keep her distracted. There it comes. I'm gonna put you away. Now see. There it came. Oh wow. What in the world? This one has like a double sack of lettuce. Yeah. I feel like sometimes the fluid is bad, other times it's not real bad. I feel like this is one of the instances where the fluid is flowing. And here it is. And she's more interested in the flavors of the fluid than the puppy, but as y'all can tell and see, she gets very attentive. Look at that puppy. Is that yours? Did you do that? Good job, Mama. Oh, and it talks. This is a really pretty, like, solid, deep red. Um, girl, we are just girl heavy, this litter. Yeah. Which is awesome because I have mainly girls on my wait list. It's a really pretty dark red girl, too. Oh, yummy. Okay, guys, so it is, like, almost one. 30 and 140 and Henley has had six puppies. I believe she is finished because she's cleaning them. She's content. So I don't think we have any more and my camera's going to die. So I'm just going to go ahead and end this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. Also stay tuned for our next video. I'm going to be introducing all the puppies, sharing the litter theme and all that fun stuff. So yay Henley. I think she had all of these puppies within like an hour and 15 minutes. So she did phenomenal. She's being a great mom per usual, so I'm going to get her area cleaned up and get off to bed myself. But